What is going on guys? It is your boy Base Junior and today it's going to be pretty different. Today is going to be the start of a couple part series on my past life when I was younger. Okay, uh, I was pretty different from what you guys see now. Alright, let's just go ahead and get started. 3, 2, 1, boom. Okay, so as you guys see on the screen, we got some Valorant. Uh, it's going to be quick. Uh, clip so you, you shouldn't get bored between the story and the gameplay okay well it's going to be kind of sort of a story uh but anyways this is how it's going to be i'm going to you know start with this video and then throughout a couple other videos i'm going to be telling you guys some stories uh from when i was younger okay so today i want to talk about how i used to basically run a neighborhood okay so I know it sounds kind of stupid and dumb, but I'm talking about a whole neighborhood, all right? Uh, I'm talking at least a couple hundred houses, uh, maybe up to a thousand houses, and everyone knew who I was. Literally everyone. Everyone in that neighborhood has at least seen me one time. And when I was younger, there were a lot of kids my age younger slightly older uh that were in that neighborhood and i kind of like low-key took over the neighborhood yeah i was like unanimous for just do or sinan however you say the word for doing basically like everything uh and running everything and just being out there 24 7. once upon a time i used to be very very active you know when it came to going outside and doing whatever i used to never really be inside unless i had to nowadays it's crazy because nowadays i don't really talk to any uh people i don't really have too many friends i i don't have really anyone you know for the most part you know compared to when i was younger okay uh, but yeah, I basically used to run a neighborhood. I had so many friends. It was, it was insane. I mean, I was able to have so many people do so many different things with me. It was just wild. I, I knew the ins and outs of that neighborhood, uh, like nobody else, okay? I, I knew the the in ending workings of each like house basically i knew that if you could go to this area you could get to this area quicker it was it was so weird the way i would go around the neighborhood you know considering you know i can't walk okay is i would have different uh ways of mobility i would use this electric four-wheeler uh that would go pretty fast uh it was an electric four-wheeler which is weird because you know it's not gas, so it can only go so fast. But for an electric four-wheeler, it went really fast. Like, it was, you know, it, it was going. And then my grandpa also created this, like, three-wheeled uh, makeshift machine. I don't know how he made it to this day, but it, it had, like, dual electric batteries on it that they were pretty big. It had a bike wheel in the front, two bike wheels in the back. It had, like, an office chair as its seat. It had, like, a like a like a circle or oval kind of circle square uh like handle to control it and then i had like a little i guess thing to where you could make it go and then i had like a regular like uh mobility wheelchair uh then i I've, i had a multi i had so many ways to get around but my favorite way was definitely the fuller i felt the freest i was able to like go really anywhere because it was small and compact and it wasn't loud and I could do a lot of things without disturbing anybody it was it was so cool okay it was so cool but I had so many friends so many kids someone to always play with like we were we were like as as like a family we were like pretty active we were always doing something like, I, I never seen really any other family in that neighborhood do as much as we did, okay? We were able to make friends as a family with the majority of the people that lived around us and all that. I'm talking from people that were up the street to people that were next to us, people that were across from us. Uh, for the longest, 
you know, my like I would always go to my grandma and grandpa's house and we lived in the same neighborhood as them. So it was one of those things where I was able to like uh, I was able to go to go to my house and within three, four minutes riding on the floor, I could go to my grandma and grandpa's house and and basically, you know, do whatever because I would have, you know, a few or I I would like say a, a friend group that lived, I don't know, a couple hundred feet away from me, uh, at my at my actual house, and then majority of my friends lived near my grandma, and grandpa. Even though I lived in the same general direction, uh, or yeah, in the same general direction or area, dude. I dude, I have so much I could say. But anyways, yeah, I was able to you know get around. I was able to you know have so many people to play with, and and you know this started from when I was. Oh man, probably from maybe third grade all the way up until seventh, eighth, up to like ninth grade, and then everything after that was really me focusing on YouTube. Uh, because I started doing YouTube when I was, um, let's see, I started in 2010, so therefore I would have uh, been going into my eighth grade year. So really it started stopping then because I really started focusing on video games and around that time time I started getting hurt more uh, because of some of the things, you know, I would do, uh, you know, f physically wise, okay, because I was always out, I was always, you know, injuring myself, you know, like, it, like my life was changing, but back then, before, you know, any of that, I... I I, I have, dude, I have so much, I have so much I can say, um, let's see, I'm gonna start it off, okay, I'm gonna start off with a little, little one, and then in the next video, or whichever video I end up continuing on, uh, we'll go from there, but anyways, uh, I used to have BB gun wars in the neighborhood, I would have however many kids I could get, Okay, and it was, you know, a good amount. Some kids, you know, that I was friends with that didn't live in the neighborhood even came. Uh, but we would, and, and then my brothers and, you know, uh, people that, you know, that weren't necessarily friends, but more like family. Uh, you know, we would all uh, get a BB, because I, I had a whole BB gun collection, okay? I still have some to this day. But, uh, and I'm talking somewhere CO2 metal. Uh, then like the spring action, and then the actual airsoft, okay, each one would get a gun, okay, or I, I should say BB gun, so you two won't copyright me, but uh, yeah, we would all set up, and a certain person would basically go and look for other people, and rather you could catch them off guard, if you know what I'm talking about, or you could get caught off guard, <laughs> and bro, it was one of those things where... It was kind of sketchy because you'd be like, okay, everyone get your ammo, blah, 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 blah. And then sometimes it would end up being to where I have the ammo, which I actually have a thing from when I was a kid, or younger, I should say, where this is one of the the original ones. Still not, you know, completely empty because this is on the tail end, okay? But, um... Yeah, I had so much of that. But anyways, there was this one where it was all red BBs and <laughs> everyone would just grab as much as they can, put it wherever they can, and they load up and they'd sit there and they'd be running off shooting. Like, it was, it was so dumb, but it was just so fun. And it hurt every time you got shot. And we were no eye protection. We were stupid. Some of the stuff I did as a kid with other kids were so dumb. Uh, I and, and in future videos, I want to say that I'm going to be talking about, like, um, you know, breaking laws, okay? Uh, but I'm not going to talk about that in this video, okay? Like I said, I want to I wanna hype up, okay? I want to anticipate. I want to draw it out a little longer instead of just claiming everything in one video. But yeah, like, BB gun. Like, we would, dude, we were, like, like um, me and my whole group, like, we were taking over the neighborhood but I, I would like to say I was kind of like one of the main ones because I was always if I was other then that means as some others were gonna be out there that's just how it was 
and and it's kind of sad that that's no longer a thing no more. You know, I kind of think back like, man, I was, like, I was dumb, and 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 I had so much fun at the same time, and some stuff I would get into was just wild. Like you know, just some of the days where I would just sit there and just ride around, just relaxing, or some of the days where I was in intense fun shooting people with BB guns. Like it was just wild. But guys. Uh, let me know if you want to see more, okay? I'm going to at least make one more, alright? Let me know how you like it, though. But guys, if you enjoy this, please drop a like, alright? Please drop a like. If you want to see another video, though, click right here. If you do want to subscribe, click right here. And, uh, yeah, guys, I will see you guys later. <laughs> yeah,